Today I want to talk to you about MIDI.toys. MIDI.toys is an editor for MIDI system exclusive messages and it works in Google Chrome so it doesn't need any installation and it is very simple to use and uh, let's see how to use it. First of all you need to navigate to MIDI.toys from uh, Google Chrome and um, second you need to allow the application to connect to your MIDI devices and uh, you can just allow it. As soon as you do that, your device will show up in here. And in this case, I have connected my Yamaha Reface DX. And uh, as an example, I can save the current patch that I'm working on on the Reface DX. The way I do that is um, I have a message that I know that is the bulk dump message and I put it here in my command. And to remember to myself what this command is for, I note it down here and this bulk dump and uh, I send it to the synthesizer and immediately two things happen. One is I see my patch represented as a compound of uh, messages that I received and also I see down here in the sent messages box the message that I just sent and I see that is noted as bulk dump. So I give it here also for the future in case I want to send it again. And uh, now let's say that um, I work on um, another patch on my synthesizer and uh, at some point I want to go back to the old patch w all what I need to do is just to copy the messages that I received from the dump I will uh, copy it here in the command box and I will give it a description which as an example is a percussion patch and um, I will send it to the synthesizer and um, Immediately, I also have here in the sent messages box, the percussion patch. Um, now, let's say that um, I work a bit more on my synthesizer and um, now I have a different patch on it and I want to save it. I can very simply send again my bulk dump patch. And here you are. I received the new, the new dump. Okay. And... Uh, then what I can do is um, set back my synthesizer on the first patch and uh, to do this what I need to do is simply send again the percussion patch. Now let's say that uh, I want to switch back again and I want to use my other patch again so I can save the patch with the name as an example lead patch and send it back to my synthesizer. So slowly as I work, I queue here in my sent messages, all the messages that I need in order to work with my synthesizer. I can dump, I can uh, send the percussion patch, or I can send the lead patch. And um, midi.toys by default doesn't save what uh, your work here, but you can do yourself very simple. Uh, system exclusive messages are just this text and um, you can just save it for example I use my notes and they say this is my lead patch um, I can also add much more description obviously if I want and I save it this way and uh, this way I can copy it back in the editor whenever I need it and uh, it is a pretty simple system that um, always work and uh, that you can use to keep uh, yourself organized and have your patches always at hand. Also something interesting is that it is not limited to system exclusive messages but any MIDI message will actually work using these. As an example I can play a note and my synthesizer will play this note and I can also stop the note if it continues playing and this is the command to stop the note and uh, I can replay the note just by clicking the send so well, I hope that you enjoyed the, the demo and that you will want to give a shout to the app. And uh, if you have any comment, please leave it uh, below here. 
on YouTube and uh, if you have any requests similar yeah just let me know and that's all for today thank you